Hello and welcome everybody back to another ERSM CFI video, channel where we make videos on flight simulation and uh, training. But today we'll be making a video on this. Uh, I got a new Wing Wing FCU all the way from uh, Zhenghu, China. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but we're going to be unboxing it. Sorry for the mess. Next to it, my MCP for a 3.7. And it does be hard with one hand, so I'm going to have to put the camera down, but uh, we'll fix it at editing. So. Yeah, hope you guys enjoy this uh, video and review. Uh, I'll unbox this, we'll get it plugged up, and uh, show you how it works. Okay, so this is how it looks out of the packaging. Something I want to note is I ordered this uh, maybe four days ago. Uh, it came on FedEx, I'm in Canada, and it went across pretty much the entire world in four days for, I think the shipping was 30 or $40, so very quick shipping, actually. Uh, it comes like this, you get something that I can't read. Looks good. And then uh, cable, USB to USB-C it looks like. Some screws, which I don't know what they're used for. Maybe mounting it, I don't know. We'll put those over there. Protection foam. Again, one hand might be hard, I'm just gonna pull it out. There we go, this is the actual FCP itself. To a man's hand. That's basically how big it is, maybe one and a half hands long. So I'm going to put this down for a quick second of this out of the packaging. Um, a lot of tape around it. And you got that. Again, I can't read that. So out of the box, you're left with the FCU. Two stands, little legs, some screws, Allen key, the box some protection foam, which will go in the garbage. I guess I should have had an Airbus ready to go. That kind of makes sense, doesn't it? And, uh, and yeah, and the cable. So pretty, pretty, pretty good boxing or unbox or uh, packaging, in other words. Initial impressions, I like the sound. Kind of can't pull that one with, with this position. That's not clicking by the way, it's my hand hitting. The other buttons I'm trying to pull it. It's not really heavy, it's pretty light. So, uh, and it's from a keyboard scale wise. There's it next to a keyboard. There's next to a knife. I don't know if that helps you. That's how big it is. So yeah, we'll get it plugged in and uh, play in here. Looks nice. Okay, so I got it mounted here. Um, I used uh, 30 pound Gorilla Tape to hold it to my MCP. I'm, I'm gonna have to use more Gorilla Tape on this because this moves, but You'll have to have some sort of mounting system just because when you go to pull and push, uh, it's going to wobble all over the place. So just be wary of that. Initial impressions, if it's good, uh, you can see that the knobs are a little twisty, kind of wiggle. That's okay. That's fine. But anyways, uh, when you plug it in, uh, what I had to do to make it work right out of the box is you uh, go to the Wing Wing software, download Sim App Pro Devices. Click the, it should show up here when you click that. And you're gonna to have to go to firmware update. I press update and it gives you this warning to unplug all these other devices. So unfortunately you do have to unplug everything you have uh, for it to update properly. But once it does, I did a quick restart in the game uh, and the software and now it, uh, it replicates and works. So I'm in the Phoenix A320. And uh, you can see it says uh, 5,000 feet, 0, 1, 2, and 100. We got 5,000 feet, 0, 1, 2, and 100. If I twist this, you can see it twist there. So a live action. I don't know if I can get it all in one frame. But.
So yeah, works works quite well. And you don't have to pull too hard for it to activate. So just a little bit will make the actual switch work in the sim. But uh, yeah, for a hundred and I think it was 150 Canadian after tax and shipping and all that stuff. Maybe 120 US, something like that. Let's check the website, but we'll say 150, 160 Canadian. Uh, it's an absolute steal to have an FCP for 160 bucks. Uh, and I can't wait until the uh, FMC and the Edmund Duke comes out as well, along with the EFIS panels. That'd be a great addition. And it just makes flying one more realistic, but also uh, just so much more intuitive uh, than to just grab your mouse and start clicking stuff and then I'm, you're scrolling and then I, I didn't mean to scroll that far or whatever. So this is just 10 times better. So hope you enjoyed the quick review and uh, we'll be using this shortly in some videos if uh, I ever get time to make them. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.